I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective? If this is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> Who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Maybe I'll become her sidekick. You're not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh, right. Now, if you would, I have work to do. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you- How'd you get that scar? It's cool. You really think so? As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word. Although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear, but sorrowful. Mournful? I cannot say. When did Freya draw the picture of you, Hawkshaw? I didn't model for her, if that's what you're asking. She must have done it without my permission. Could just be from memory. It's not quite as detailed as the others, anyway. What is that? I'm not sure. It looks like it attaches to something else. Why don't you go back and double-check the area you found it? Maybe you'll find the rest of the something else. I'm not so sure about that. <sighs> Do you also have a pile of leaves as a clue? Oh, not yet. Did you see some suspicious leaves? One of three statues depicting the same creature. This one is wearing headphones. Perhaps they belong to someone who likes music. They're not headphones. They're earmuffs. For blocking out sound. Perhaps they belong to someone who doesn't like music. This is a potential murder weapon, is it not? I don't know. I don't think the murderer would leave the murder weapon just lying around. I think you'd be surprised as to what people leave lying around. Hmm. Where did you find this? Do you have any theories about where this might have been? Or who might have had it? I have several theories. 
but they are my theories and I'm not going to share them. These figurines remind me of a case I once solved involving a possessed doll. Turned out to be a bit of a smokescreen, as these things often do. Your life sounds fun. Grimoire, why don't we ever have fun adventures like that? Are we not having a fun adventure right at this very moment? I'd tell him not to quit his day job, but he hasn't got one, has he? Is that a clue? Don't know. It was important enough to be framed, though. I framed my law degree doesn't make it a clue. S same. Yeah. Who's that? Not sure. It doesn't really look like anyone we've met so far. Strain. A diary. Have you read it? Not yet. It's locked. And you haven't attempted to force it open? That would be cheating. And you consider that important evidence, do you? These people really are ridiculous, aren't they? A photograph of Freya could be important. I admit, it's powerful. Freya was a talented young woman. Someone even liked it enough to take a photo of it. Now, we don't know why they took the photograph, do we? Perhaps they just wanted it for reference. This belongs to you, Hawkshaw? Correct. And, uh, what is it? It's my handheld microscope for up-close investigation work. What do you magnify with it? Trace particles, dust, oils, clothing fibers. Have you used it here at Tangle Tower? I have. I used it to examine the greenhouse only two days ago. What were you looking for? That is between myself and my client. This little microscope thing? You said you used it to search the greenhouse. And this would make perfect sense. If you knew what my client had asked me to find. Of course, I still have no intention of disclosing that information. You're such a tease, Hawkshaw. Don't worry, we already worked out what you're searching for. You're not as hopeless as you look. Thanks. So, that's what you were looking for in the greenhouse? This beetle? Surely even you can understand the logic of it. The greenhouse is home to a great many insects. The gardener could have easily kept the beetles hidden in there. Well, Fitz said you questioned him but didn't actually search the greenhouse. Hmm. He is not exactly the type to appreciate subtlety. He simply didn't notice that I was using my microscope. What do you reckon, Grimoire? I know for a fact you didn't use the microscope in the greenhouse. It's not a microscope at all. All of a sudden, Detective Grimoire is some kind of expert on microscopes. I'm inclined to believe Fifi when it comes to stuff like this. Aksha, why did you lie about owning a telescope? When you were a child, what did you aspire to become? Uh, a detective, naturally. Emperor of the galaxy. I wanted to be an astronomer. Really? I harbored a desire to understand the secrets of the wider universe. A fool's errand, to be sure, but a seductive one. At 15, I decided instead to apply my intelligence to the world around me. And so, I became a detective. But the yearning for elusive knowledge is a powerful force. I tried to keep it with me. Sorry, but we're way off track. What's the deal with the little telescope? A memento. From my childhood. Little more than a toy. Why did you bring it with you? When I discovered that it was Professor Pointer who had hired me, I dared to consider it something of a planetary alignment. I had hoped he might sign my telescope. An extremely childish indulgence, I admit. I never would have guessed. Hold on. You're admitting you didn't use it in the greenhouse, then? Correct. As it happens, I have no need to search the greenhouse to such a degree. Professor Pointer doesn't consider the gardener a suspect in our theft investigation. So, who is your suspect? Things have become complicated. My lead suspect is your murder victim. Three birds, one cage. What makes them worth keeping cooped up, I wonder? Would they not be happier flying free? But then they might fly away from Tangle Tower entirely. I wonder if they would. A book from the library. One of hundreds, no doubt. What makes this one special? It's about birds. Yes. I see that. Some breed of amphibious humanoid. Potentially bipedal. Although none of the statues show the creature's feet. I guess we'll never know. The people here are surprisingly materialistic, considering how sheltered they are. Materialistic? Growing this fruit simply because it produces a gemstone-like material. 
For what possible purpose, other than financial gain? You're speculating. What would you do, Grimoire, if you could grow valuable stone straight from the earth? I believe that was in Flora's room yesterday, but it was not cracked when I saw it last. A somewhat cumbersome device, and an altogether inefficient way to listen to music. What kind of music do you like, Hawkshaw? I, I like anything. What a cop-out. You got it open. I'm impressed. I managed it myself yesterday. I thought Flora might be hiding the... hiding something in there. It was empty yesterday, too? It was. Perhaps it's always been empty. Paints? Yep. Paints. Mm-hmm. Makes quite an impression, doesn't it? Although I can't imagine why she painted Flora wielding a knife. You didn't see a knife anywhere in Flora's room, did you? I did not. I conclude whatever stabbed Freya must have been brought into the room from outside. Unless, of course, it was the painting itself. Surely you don't believe in that kind of thing. A detective's job is to examine every avenue of thinking. The paint is still wet. Yeah, well, we know Freya was in the middle of painting when she was killed. Do you know that? How? Because you were told? Conveniently left anonymous. It's useless until you can prove to whom it concerns. Can you do that? No. No. Have you deciphered the meaning of those four symbols on the harp? We're working on it. That's a no, then. Where'd you dig that up? It wasn't buried. It was underwater. Someone trying to conceal evidence, bro? <laughs> you truly consider this a case file? What's wrong with it? No organization, no system. That's my style. I like seeing everything laid out at once. Yeah, it helps me think. How quaint. Tangled Tower. No idea why they insist on calling it that. It's not even a tower. It's little more than a pair of turrets stuck on either side of a mansion. Have you... searched the whole place? I believe so. Why? He wants to know if you found any secret rooms. Huh. I'm afraid the residents of Tangle Tower are far too ordinary for anything like that. I was disappointed, too. Quite the stoic statue, isn't she? I can only dream of being as cold and indifferent as Flora Fellow. You think she's hiding something? Perhaps. She has some strange habits. I heard she barely sleeps, an hour here or there, sporadically. Spends the rest of her time staring up at the sky. Did you get anything useful out of him? Not sure. What about you? Nothing worth committing to paper. I think he knows more than he lets on. Probably. But talking with him is so tedious. Considerably intelligent, and her powers of observation are enviable. But she has no ambition. No focus. In her defense, she's still a teenager. Barely. 314 cases solved. 314? Freya Fellow is of great interest to me. I perceived her to be the most intelligent individual here at Tangle Tower. Within a day, she had identified for whom I was working and for what I was searching. I didn't know how she did it. I was impressed. I regret that I did not question her more thoroughly when I had the opportunity. You couldn't have known she was about to be killed, though. I have only myself to blame for failing to perceive the signs. What signs? I do not wish to do your job for you, detective. I'll say this. He's well suited to physical labor. That's a nice way to put it. Fitz spends most of his time alone in the greenhouse. But I heard he's been breeding experimental flowers. In secret. Whoa. Scandal. I just wonder if he's getting... restless. Professor Pointer is a respectable astronomer. Keeps himself to himself. What? We're just surprised. That was the most polite you've been about anyone. I find her rather embarrassing. Little more than a spoilt child. Penny must be at least 25. 27. Just makes it worse. Poppy has remarkable musical talent. 
She could be famous, wealthy even, if she wanted to. I should probably have to leave Tangle Tower first. Quite. <laughs>